Cork continued as they took all the points in a tightly fought encounter on Wednesday. It was Birmingham, though, who took the lead after 14 minutes. Barry Horn's pass picking out Andy Legg. His lob from just inside the box taking a deflection. Mike Salmon given no chance. That's how it remained until the 38th minute. Brendan O'Connell's pinpoint pass glanced in by Bradley Allen. His sixth goal of the season to make him the addict's top marksman. The home side scored the game's deciding goal just 15 seconds into the second half. Brendan O'Connell scoring his first for the club, a drive that left Steve Sutton helpless. It finished Charlton 2, Birmingham 1, another good result for manager Alan Kerbishley. Alan, fourth league winning five, you must be delighted. Oh, I am, I think that, uh, you know, I've been, we've been saying for the last couple of months anyway that our league position is a little bit false and uh, with all these games behind, we felt that if we could put a little run together, then you can soon climb up this table. And we haven't been playing that badly. We have played badly on two or three occasions away from home where we've been tonked and deservedly tonked. But we haven't played that badly and uh, we're picking up. And in fairness point of view, this is a very solid upturn now. And your little brother has been instrumental in it. It's a yes, funny, he has. funny turnaround for Bradley. Yeah, Allen, he, incredible really. Um, he, he's been wanting a run in the side to be perfectly honest and uh, it's something that didn't happen from the start of the season but um, he managed to score a winner at Norwich that seemed to get them going and, and broke their duck from a waveform point of view um, then they went to Queen's Park Rangers and you have to say the script was written for him to score the winner um, and he came up with an equaliser on Wednesday evening which again turned the game round for Charlton um, at the back I thought Rufus was outstanding they have missed him earlier on in the season so I think that the signs are good there for Charlton they do have a number of youngsters as well who Alan Kirbishley, I think, can now start to introduce now that the, 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 um, the form's good within the, within the club. One just brief thought about...